real school. An ordinary school filled with ordinary kids with all the ordinary problems of growing up. But in my case, life is anything but ordinary. You see, I was raised by bugs. Get the picture? Out of the ordinary fairy tale without the fairy. A family that seems a little scary. Printed along with Joe Cooper's face on every billboard for the last hundred miles. When are we stopping at the outlet mall you promised us? Yeah, I haven't shopped since yesterday, and I don't want to get out of practice. That's on the way home. What's going on? This is the line of cars waiting to get into the parking lot, and according to this billboard, the wait time from here is four hours. Coopers will be closed by then. Our day is ruined. No hay rides, no pumpkin picking, no hot cider. Why don't we try that place over there? Um. Oh my gosh, that scarecrow looks like the one, and I'm pretty sure you're in there 14. You know the one where the scarecrow comes out of the cornfield at night with a sickle to scare all the children? Or wait. Was that the one where he waits in the cornfield during the day with an axe and then he... Okay, I get it. Looks okay to me. Can I help you? Ah! Oh, didn't mean to startle you folks. I'm Farmer Flannery, and you're all welcome to visit Flannery Farms for hay rides, pumpkin picking, and hot apple cider. Uh, as if? Hello, that place looks totally haunted. Totally haunted or not, they need to use their bathroom. Even though the inside of it probably looks like the one in It Came From The Outhouse 17. You know what I always say, when life gives you pumpkins, make pumpkin pie. Everybody who wants to visit Flannery Farms, say aye. Aye. Come on, Budge. You're not scared, are you? Scared? Me? <laughs> of course not. I laugh in the face of fear. <laughs> this hay wagon looks just like the hay wagon in Horror Hay Wagon 23. Was that the one where the maniac fortune teller wore a Halloween mask? Or was it the one with the maniac mind? Can we change the subject? So, Farmer Flannery? Why is Joe Cooper's farm so much more popular than yours? Well, maybe because everyone thinks Flannery Farms is haunted by a possessed scarecrow. Haunted? Did he say possessed scarecrow? Mind you, it's only a rumor. Oh. <laughs> of course it is. Who ever heard of a possessed scarecrow? <laughs> uh, speaking of scarecrows, didn't that scarecrow used to be in the cornfield near the parking lot? <laughs> oh, nothing to worry about, folks. It's just on wheels so we're gonna be moved from field to field. Okay, but how did it move itself over here? From the looks of that windmill, there doesn't appear to be any wind today. Oh, that windmill is just like the windmill in the movie. We get, get it. it! Sorry. 
So, who's up for picking pumpkins? This pumpkin picking thing is so lame. I mean, who knew pumpkins grew on the ground in dirt? I know, and dirt is like so dirty. No way. That pumpkin has the exact same shape as Harry Hobie's head. <laughs> More perfect. Ah! Score! This pumpkin has a perfectly symmetrical height to width ratio. When I carve you up, you're gonna be scary. Ah! You're right, it does look like it's already carved. They all do. Tell us about it. Harry's head was completely ruined. But who could have carved all these pumpkins? Creepy, what are you doing? Meet your ordinary garden variety squash bug. What's a squash bug? They suck on vines, causing the pumpkins to wilt and turn black. Wow, Creepy, when did you become such an expert on bugs? Runs in the family. Some of them just happen to be more creative than others. while you pick Indian corn. Uh, uh, no way am I going into that cornfield. <laughs> Why not? Simple deduction. I've seen that freaky scarecrow in the cornfield twice now, which leads to the logical conclusion that I'd be crazy to go anywhere near it. Come on, Budge, I'll go first. Sorry, creeps, but Budge ain't budging on this one. Suit yourself, but you'll be all alone out here. But no problem, we'll just pick a direction and go that way. Eventually we'll come out somewhere, right? Hmm, is it me or does this corn stalk look familiar? They all look familiar, they're corn. Um, guys, I think we're lost. I knew it, just like kids in the cornfield 143. Would you quit it with the horror movies already? This is scary Don't enough. Don't worry about a thing, it's but this it's way. Cool. Just around the bend. Um, yeah, see, definitely this way. Uh, I think. Aha! See, here we are. Uh, again. Wait, did you hear that? Uh, Farmer Flannery? Mom? Anybody human? trying to buy Flannery's land for years to expand my property, but he wouldn't sell. So, let me guess. 
You tried to make people think the place was haunted to scare away his business. Wow! Impressive, creepy. Would have got away with it, too, if it wasn't for you. Maybe next time you should stick to selling pumpkins and writing bad jingles. Thanks for everything! <laughs> oh, see you next year. So creepy. How did you know that the Scarecrow was really Farmer Cooper? I didn't. I just wanted to see what was under the jack-o'-lantern. Well, I'm sure we can get some lovely pumpkins at the grocery store. Do they have bathrooms? Yes! yes dear. Uh, Mrs. Holly Roller, if you're in the back seat with us, then who's driving? <laughs> <laughs> Bugs and aphids enjoy eating crops in the field like pumpkins. They'll stick their beaks into a plant's stem, roots, or leaves. Then they suck till all the juices are gone. Kind of like drinking a plant smoothie. <laughs> then after you knock on the door, it suddenly opens. And you say, trick or treat! And then you get free treats. I'm getting hungry just thinking about it. Yum, yum. I guess Aunt Rose is, too. And what do they call this free treat-giving holiday, Creepola? Halloween. So, can I go? Well... All the kids do it. I'll be with Budge. Please, can I go tonight? Yeah, 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 we go, please. It does sound like fun for the children, Love Pug. And maybe we should give out free treats, too. I suppose you're right, Vincent. Let's go get some costumes! And I know just the treat to hand out. Sorry, Aunt Rose, but I don't think the outside world is ready for you. Now I'd better go find a costume. Think of my costume. Uh, what is it? I'm a karate master. See? Black belt. Right. I don't know how I missed that. Now let's get this party started. Uh oh. Aunt Rose? Aunt Rose? Oh, this isn't good. No, it's fine. We just have to find her before she gets hungry again. Uh, before she gets hungry again? What happens if she gets hungry again, just as we find her? Come on, Aunt Rose wouldn't eat us. At least, I don't think she would. A little to the left, dear. Yeah, oh, no, 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 too far to the right now, back. Oh, no, perfect. I'm on a tight schedule. Gotta leave now in order to get full use of my color-coded candy map, which highlights all the best candy givers in the neighborhood. I'm already 32.6 seconds behind schedule. Toodles! Taught her everything I know. Trick or treat! Aunt Rose! Trick or treat! Maybe we got lucky and she went home all by herself. There she is. Ripping through my flesh! <laughs> <laughs> 
good. It's only a bush. things again. Mother always said I had a vivid imagination. Hmm? Hmm, I was certain I filled that bowl. He's gonna fill it again! Pull out more free treats. <laughs> with long, razor-sharp fangs. Uh, she means costume. Spider costume. No, but nice costume yourself. Domo arigato. <laughs> there, there she is! Come on, Budge. We'll cut her off the other end. Is it's so hard to get kids to eat nutritiously these days. I couldn't agree more. Hmm, that last house really didn't measure up to last year's standards. Guess I'll just have to take them off my list. I am so sorry. <gasps> wow, that's the super duper costume ever. You're obviously a season trick or treater like myself. Hey, I usually don't do this, but I bet if we join forces, we could double our candy take. What do you say? Great! Now, in looking at my chart, I see we're doing great on chocolate, but we're way behind quota on lollipops. So let's head this way. <laughs> Anyone out there? Okay. Keep a hold of yourself. The knight can play tricks on people. I'm sure there's a perfectly logical explanation. <gasps> Mother! Trick or treat! Wow, you are good. You even stay in character. Now, bud! I'm sorry to do this to you, Aunt Rose, but you've had your fun, and now it's time to go home. Shh, okay. On my signal. Let's move it back! All right. Caught you! Now show yourself! Uh, boo? Stop fidgeting, Aunt Rose. You're home now. <coughs> but 
Bridge. This isn't Aunt Rose. Then who is it? Hey! Ms. Montserrat! Why did you say anything? I tried, but the mask was stuck on my head. Now, it's time for you two to explain yourselves. Uh, we thought you were my Aunt Rose. We mean, her Aunt Rose was wearing the same costume. Well, look at the time. Great to see you, Miss Montserrat. Can't wait to laugh all about this in school Monday. <laughs> you mean in detention? <laughs> Does she carry these with her everywhere she goes? Jeepers. So, if that wasn't the real Aunt Rose, then where is she? One lollipop for me, one for you. So how did your trick-or-treating go, Pumpkin? Did you get oodles of candy? Best cheer ever! Of course, I had help from my new friend. <laughs> Aunt Rose may have wolfed down that Halloween candy, but the Goliath tarantula has an even bigger appetite. It not only eats tons of insects, but also birds, frogs, small snakes, even bats. It's all part of a balanced diet. <laughs>